director of research at the Nano Networking Center in Catalonia at Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya in Spain, and I am also the coordinator of the Weblash project. My name is Albert Cabellos. I'm a professor here at Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya. I'm Akshay, um, a postdoctoral researcher at the Entrega Lab in UPC, and I'm also a researcher working in the Weblash project. Oh, hello there, I'm Eduard Talarcon. I'm a professor at UPC. I'm one of the scientific co-directors of Entricat, the, the Center for Nanotechnology-Enabled Wireless Communications, and I'm also one of the researchers within uh, Yplash. The Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya is coordinating the Yplash project and also leading Work Package 3 on wireless communications within package. Our role into the project is to try to understand how we can benefit from wireless uh, networking in uh, inside, man, in the, inside the many core uh, scenario, which is quite different from the traditional wireless scenario. In Work Package 3, we basically have two responsibilities. To develop models that characterize how the automatic waves propagate through the chip package and to develop appro uh, appropriate uh, protocols for communication. Uh, in pursuit of that characterization of the wireless physical channel within a chip, we are using finite element simulation of the different geometries and materials that describe the, the, the chiplet to chiplet wires interconnect adaptive and flexible architecture. And we're trying to obtain different communication metrics. One of my main tasks, uh, having experience in protocol design, is to design the MAC protocol for the wireless network on chip architecture that we have here. The reason why MAC protocols are very challenging and a fun aspect of this project is that um, you have low power, uh, con you need to design the protocols that consume pow less power, uh, they, are less, uh, they, are low, they have low complexity and also uh, they should be able to operate uh, really fast. Finally, on the application side, we're trying to pursue a tenfold improvement in the operation spit of a neural network uh, chip coprocessor accelerator. Wireless networks has been very useful always when the device itself is mobile, meaning that the device the device is moving around and, and that's why you need wireless, right? Because making it wired doesn't make too much sense. And the fact that the device is mobile has a very strong impact on how you design the protocols because you have to face certain challenges. You have cars, uh, you have walls, uh, and it's a very uh, dynamic environment. While here, in uh, many core scenarios, the environment is not mobile. Everything is fixed and actually deterministic, meaning that the way we need to design those protocols is completely different to the protocols that have been designed in the, in the traditional wireless environment. One of the unique traits of operating a wireless communication system within a, a chip package is that it is a static environment. And accordingly, you can pre-characterize the defects and the impairments of that physical channel. And accordingly, you can design coding and modulation methods to maximize the bandwidth and the overall throughput. Another unique feature of this system, it's, it's very, very, vertical complexity in terms of system integration and the type and heterogeneity of the different technological layers coming from technology, graphene devices, graphene antennas, up to circuits for transmitters, and then the different processing cores up to the chip architectures. Mm -hmm.